welcome to another vlog. I think this is vlog number 11. If you guys are new here, please make sure to subscribe. We just recently hit 85K. We are halfway to 86K, so thank you guys so much for joining the fam. Our goal is 100K by April, which is my birthday month. I would love to hit 100K for my birthday, so definitely make sure to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, and leave a comment down below. I love chatting with you guys in the comments. Today is Monday. It's Monday morning right now. I got my video edited, uploaded, got all of my orders packed, ready to ship out tomorrow for the store. And I'm waiting on my new Nespresso machine to arrive. I've ordered a few other things from Amazon that are coming. I will obviously show you guys. Um, and then I ordered a tray for my bedroom. Let me show you guys. I have this marble tray, the realness of me stacking on my Valentine's Day candy yesterday. Um, so I have this uh, concrete tray here and I thought it would be really cute to have a matching one on this side and kind of like make everything feel like it's in one spot rather than just like spread across the nightstand because I love how that looks over there. So I got another tray. Um, I just picked it up from the mailroom, so I'm gonna open that and put that over there and show you guys. And I also finally got some touch-up paint from the leasing office. So I'm gonna go through my apartment today um, and just kind of touch up some spots and make it just feel cleaner and newer in here. I also submitted a maintenance request. I have a major crack in one of the walls. I think, you know, it just kind of happens over time. Um, so there's a giant crack. Let me show you guys. <sighs> on this wall can you guys see that it's literally from top to bottom so they're gonna have to fill that fix that um so i have someone coming for that i've been having issues with my refrigerator it doesn't close all the way and then like sometimes i'll leave for hours and not know it's open like when you close it sometimes it gets stuck like this and the magnet is supposed to like automatically pull it closed um, so I don't know if they can fix that. I'm hoping. We'll see. I also have issues with my faucet. These are all things that have been issues since I moved in, but they basically said when I moved in that, like, unless it's a major issue, like life or death, don't submit anything. And now that I'm dealing with it for so long, I'm over it. Uh, so this just usually falls and, like, turns off. Um, so they just need to tighten that and that'll be fixed. And then my screen on this window. So this window, I only have like three windows that actually open in my apartment. And this one, the screen is on the inside because the window opens out. The screen is completely falling off. I don't know if you guys can see that gap right there, but the screen is completely falling off. I couldn't snap it on myself, so I'm gonna have to have them fix it, but it's annoying because then when I open the window, like flies and bugs and stuff can get in through the little crack, which is why I haven't been opening it. I have some issues with the switch in my bathroom too. Like it gets stuck all the time. Um, so I'm just going to have maintenance come by and fix whatever they can. That way there's like a record of it. So when I move out, they can't like charge me for any of that stuff. So might as well get it done while I'm still living here because then they will do it for free and they won't charge me for it when I move out. So gonna get all of that done sometime this week. I can't remember when I scheduled the maintenance request. It's either today or tomorrow. I guess I'll find out when I have someone come by and knock on the door. I wanna say it's today though, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. I wanna pull out that tray, set the tray up, and then I'll probably go through and start doing touch-up paint on spots that need it. It feels so warm in my apartment today. I think it's because I've been having my candles going every single day lately because it has been chilly. Like, it's cold outside, but it's warm in here and I don't even have the heat on or anything. Pardon me. Excuse me. Pardon me. Thank you. I almost ordered a third one of these for my coffee table. And then I kind of decided against it and now I'm glad. I did because I think I want to just get more coffee table books for my coffee table. All right, this is what the tray looks like. It's pretty dang heavy. It is definitely real concrete. It's got a lot of scratches and imperfections on the bottom, but whatever. It's just the bottom. Let's see. This. This. I'm like, I don't know how I want to organize this. I think the tree needs to go in the back. Maybe I'll have this in front of the tree. And this right here. They come in.
comes with little felt pads so you can like slide it around nicely. Okay, there we have it. Everything just looks a little more put together on the tray rather than just having it all across the nightstand. I'll probably reorganize that later, but yay. Now my nightstands match. How cute. I love it. All right. I did all the touch-up paint around my apartment and it honestly looks so nice and like clean in here. Like every time I looked at the walls, there was just like scuff marks or like dirt or something on them from Bentley or when I moved in and it took me so long to get the touch-up paint because I was so anxious about just going to the office and asking for it. Yeah, I'm happy that I got to like touch everything up. It'll be nice to just like keep up with that over the next year while I still live here. Um, so that way when I move out, I won't have to worry about any of that. Okay, I'm looking at my to-do list that I wrote this morning. The first thing was to pack orders. I did that, edit and upload the vlog for Tuesday. Did that already. I was gonna film my Amazon favorites. I am just way too drained and exhausted to do that. I'm gonna take a little nap. I'm waiting for my Amazon order to get here because I don't know if they're gonna like leave it at my doorstep. Um, it's quite a few things, so if they do leave it at my doorstep, I don't wanna like leave it out there for hours because I don't think my Nespresso machine is wrapped in like a another box. I think it's just the, Am the Nespresso box with like a label slapped on it, so I don't want someone to like see that and steal it off my porch. Um, so they are in the process of delivering it right now. It says uh, I'm the next stop, so I should be getting a delivery confirmation at least in the next 30 minutes to an hour. I'm so exhausted, I just, I need a nap. And I was talking about this in another vlog, I think it was literally the vlog from Sunday, which was yesterday. And I've stopped feeling guilty about needing to take naps because I, I will admit it, I am one to overwork myself and burn out really quickly. So I'm just, I'm not gonna feel guilty about my body needing rest or needing a nap anymore. I'm just, if I feel tired, I'm gonna take a nap. I'll probably nap for an hour or two and then I can get a workout in. If I still have daylight, I can film my video. Like there's still so many things that I can get done. So that's why I'm like, okay, I, I shouldn't feel guilty about taking a nap. If you need a nap, this is your sign to take a nap and don't feel guilty about it. It is okay to need to rest and recharge. And I am reminding myself of that too. So um, I will probably push filming my Amazon favorites to tomorrow because I do have tomorrow morning available for filming. Um, so if I don't get that done after my nap, depending on how long I end up napping, then I will just do that tomorrow. It is okay. That video I won't have to do. Like, I think I'll put this vlog up on Thursday now and then probably the Amazon favorites on Sunday or they will be swapped depending on when I film that. Um, and then I needed to start a new vlog, which was this one, what I'm doing. Um, and then I need to plan out some content, which I actually kind of did like a brainstorm yesterday. I have a brand deal for Instagram and TikTok that is due this week. It's due on the 22nd. So I have like seven days um, to do it. And I am gonna go to my friend's house and use like her guest room shower for it, for like the concept of everything. You guys will see that on Instagram very, very soon. But I kind of came up with a concept of it yesterday when I was at her house and now in my mind I'm like okay that'll work perfectly now I know like what shots I'm gonna do what um what videos I need to take and all that kind of stuff so my content is fully planned out now I just need to go to her house and <laughs> do the photos for it which I think I'm gonna do tomorrow so that way I can submit them ahead of time and it will be all right so only other thing that I had on my list for today for work was to film an Amazon favorites. It's only noon right now. I still got plenty of time. If I want to do that, that is okay. Bentley is so tired. He's already napping on the floor next to me. Can you guys see him? <laughs> there he is. So I think he's ready for a nap as well. Um, I think I'm going to take him out again. We'll probably do a quick little walk around the, uh, the area 
while I wait for my Amazon packages to be delivered and then hopefully they'll be here by the time I get back and then I can just crawl into bed, take a little nap and then I'll show you guys all of the stuff from Amazon once I wake up from my nap and then we'll get more productive today and do like a workout. I want to read a little bit later, stuff like that. Okay, I got a message as soon as we got back from our walk that my Amazon stuff arrived. So I just went to grab it really quick. I thought my Nespresso would be in one of the lockers, but I think the Amazon driver is bringing it up to my door. So I'm just gonna wait a little bit and grab it off my porch once it's here. So I figured I'd do a little haul. I bought more of these candles. I think I talked to you guys about this already. So this one is gonna go in the gray cement lanterns that I have on my console table. And then I saw these the other day on Amazon. And I was like, these are gonna be the next trendy cup. Like, I feel like the beer cup blew up on Amazon and all over TikTok and like YouTube. And I feel like these are gonna be the next, the next thing. These are so cute. They're just like square cups. Uh, these are gonna be perfect for iced coffees. These would be perfect for vases. You can literally use them for so much. And they're all about the aesthetics. <laughs> like y'all know I am. We can match. These were like, these are pricey per cup. I'm not gonna lie. These were like $7 per cup. My friend and I were talking because I sent her the link as soon as I saw them on my Amazon. And I was like, wait, these are so cute. And she's like, those reminds me, those remind me of like CB2. They give me like CB2 vibes. And I was like, you are so right. But these are gonna be so cute to have my iced coffees in or like my kombucha, anything. So yeah, I will leave these linked down below for you guys. If you would like to twin with me and have the same cute coffee mugs or whatever you choose to put into them. All right, I hope my Nespresso arrives soon. I am so ready to take a nap. I don't even think I truly went over the fact that I got a new Nespresso machine. I think I just briefly mentioned it, um, but I did end up giving my uh, Nespresso Virtuo away to one of my friends because she was talking about how she really wanted it. And I was like, you know what? I've been eyeing this other one, but I was like, I, I didn't want to like just get rid of the coffee machine. And now it went to a good home. So I'm excited. Um, I'm sure she is happy to have a Nespresso machine now. So I ordered, a smaller one i think it's the virtuo next machine it's like one of their newest ones but you guys know i already have the breville barista creatista whatever it, whatever it is called i forget um and the other one was like super wide and bulky so now i will have like two skinny coffee machines on my counter it won't take up a lot of room which will actually be really nice especially for whatever place i move into next they won't take up a lot of counter space um so i am very lucky with counter space here but who knows what my next place will look like counter space wise so just things that i like to think about when i buy new items for like my space so i'm excited for that it's gonna be all black um a matte black coffee machine it's gonna look so pretty i'll probably use it tomorrow actually i can make myself a decaf later i gave away my virtual machine so i haven't been able to use my virtual pods the last two days i've just been using my regular ones but i do have decaf for my virtual machine so we can test it out later and i can just make myself decaf coffee after my nap that sounds perfect they're so cute i love them these fit perfectly these are just the same size um hi they're not here they're the same size as the ones over there but i love that they all have a remote this just adds a little bit of light right here i turned this down because it was going through the weather where i lived and uh don't need that so <laughs> Yeah, super cute. I love how this is coming together. It's my favorite. All right, well, today, sorry, the vacuum is in the back. Um, today has been a hell of a day. <laughs> uh, the fire alarm is going off in another building and the entire power went out <laughs> and, like just a little bit ago. I just had to reset all of my clocks and I am missing my Nespresso machine. It has gone missing in the complex. I'm not even surprised at this point. This seems to happen to all of my like expensive and big packages. Amazon said they delivered it in the locker downstairs. The leasing office claims they don't have it. It was not in the locker when I 
I'm going to pick up my other stuff. So I have no idea where it is. Amazon won't let me file a claim or request a replacement until tomorrow night. So unless my machine like mysteriously shows up at my front door, I have no idea if I'm even gonna get it. Because <laughs> it wouldn't have fit in the locker that my other stuff was in. And all of the Amazon delivery guys have left the property. So there's not even anyone here to deliver anything else. So I'm really just hoping that it got delivered when there was like a glitch in the system or something and that they discover my package and send me like a locker number later, but we'll see what happens. Now I'm like wide awake and <laughs> there's no way I'm going to be able to take a nap now. So I guess I'm just going to let my vacuum clean and chill on the couch for a little bit until I get the mental capacity back to film an Amazon video for you guys. I was literally just sitting down to read my book because I'm like, well, I'm not tired. I felt, I feel wired now because I was stressed about my coffee machine and I heard my doorbell ring and this has got to be it because this is a massive package. So now I guess we're going to do an unboxing. <laughs> it's also definitely been like two hours since I told you guys that the machine is nowhere to be found. And it finally shows up. Okay, here we have it. Love that this is in a more sustainable recycled box. How cool is that? Love to see that. Okay, I'm so excited for this. Oh, I also, <laughs> so I gave my friend the machine and after she left, I was like, oh my goodness, I realized that like my new machine comes with one of these. So I'm gonna give this to her next time I see her because I don't need two of them. So I am excited this is the one that i got but it's supposed to be matte black oh, truly no better thing than unboxing a new coffee machine oh new pods love it love the whole experience 10 out of 10. wow oh wow that's a cool little feature to be able to get it out Okay, we have this guy. Oh, this looks beautiful. Oh my goodness, I'm breaking it already. What's new? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Hello, let's get this box out together so that I have room for this. Okay, this thing is so much smaller compared to the other machine that I had. Perfect, because now my Nespresso machines will not take up the entire counter in the corner. Okay. Let me put this in the corner and then I'll like show you guys. This is truly a beautiful machine, I will say. It's a lot, it's a lot sexier than my last machine. My goodness. Okay. So, this literally fits perfectly side by side. It takes up about as much room as the giant uh, Breville espresso machine that I originally had. Oh my goodness, we can have to plug this in. There we go. So, this one, is this all like touch? Is this one a touch one or is it like a, I don't know. We should look at the instructions. Maybe this one isn't a touch one. My other one wasn't, so. No idea. A nice little tiny spot to, uh, have your cup. Where's the manual? Okay, this is the one I originally had, was just the original Virtuo machine. They have a plus and a next. I have the next version of it now. Uh, let's see. I just wanna make sure that I'm not ruining it if it's meant to be like a touch one. <laughs> uh, doesn't seem like it. Looks like it's just a push. You can connect Bluetooth to it, which I think is like the fancy thing about this one, but it just seems like a normal Nespresso machine. Okay, I just looked up someone else's review on it just to make sure I wasn't gonna like break it. I don't know which one has the like touch feature. Uh, maybe it's the middle machine. 
but this is basically just like the regular virtual one that I had. You just close it and lock it just like the other one and you press the button and it works. And then this one doesn't have like a capsule collector on the outside like my other one did. So it's just like a nice like sleek design right here. So that way it is a lot smaller on my counter. Cool, I love it. Well, since I know how to use my other machine and it's basically the exact same thing, this will make for easy coffee making in the morning. Love it. Look at how cute they look side by side. I love this so much. And you can like change the level of this depending on your cup size. I'll probably just leave it at the bottom because I usually use tall cups, but yay! So cute. Love it. I will have both of these linked down below if you guys want to check either of these out. The wave of tiredness has hit me yet again. The only thing I feel guilty about now is crawling into my bed because it was made so nicely this morning. Like I'm so proud of myself. I've been on my bed making game lately and it looks so nice and I don't want to ruin it. Like, look at this. It's so nice and pretty. I mean, obviously I can make it again after my nap, but <laughs> uh, okay, time to ruin all this and take a little nap because I know he's tired too. He could feel my stress about my <laughs> lost Nespresso machine. We're happy it showed up. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Oh, do you want to take a nap? <laughs> do you want to take a nap? Yeah. Okay, let's take a nap. It's 5 p.m. <laughs> I did not nap. Sat on my phone the entire time. Had the intention of napping and then I got sucked into TikTok and then suddenly it was 5 p.m. and I was like, wow. I didn't do anything this afternoon. So I am going to get my butt over here for a workout. I think I'm gonna do a few like uh, glute workouts. I don't know, I'm just filling a leg workout today. Hello, sir. And I think once I do that, I might finish off with like a Melissa Wood Health ab workout because I do have her subscription, but I don't know, I'm just kind of gonna go with the flow tonight and see what I end up doing for a workout. I just have some like glute workouts that I really used to love to do at the gym, so I'm gonna see if I can attempt them at home. I don't have any weights, I really wanna get weights so I can start doing stuff like that, but I'm like, I bet you I can find stuff around my house to use as weights, like my cement lanterns. I might use those. My pots for my plants, like stuff like that. We'll see what I can come up with, but uh, I guess I'll just set you guys here and you can see whatever workout I come up with. Did a quick little ab circuit at the end of my leg workout. Um, 
excuse me. Now I'm going to have some liquid IV. I've been trying to drink at least one of these a day and they just restocked me on my favorite one, which is the tangerine. This one is like, oh my goodness, my legs are shaking, you guys. <laughs> oh, my legs hurt so bad. Um, but this one is like their vitamin C and zinc one. It's like a good one to be, I feel like, drinking daily right now. This one's my fave. I do have a discount code. It's always linked in all of my um, the description boxes. So you can use Catherine June. I think it's just Catherine June for 25% off their website. You guys, my legs are shaking so bad. Wow. <laughs> um, yeah, not sponsored, but they do send me quite a bit. And that one by far is one of my favorites, along with the lemon lime. Those are like my two go to. I need to get my butt back into working out way more often because I have been slacking real hard the last few weeks at least honestly i popped on my spin bike twice in the last week which for me is good okay i'm gonna chug this before i take a shower what's up bubbas i feel much more energized and more revived after workout all the uh not the adrenaline the endorphins or what is the word i'm looking for you guys will know what I'm talking about, but it's always so nice after a workout, and I always mm. forget about mm. that until I do a workout, and then I'm like, why don't I do this more often? It's because I can't get my butt to just do them every day, but I should. I should really get in the habit, because I feel like the walks with Bentley every day, like, they're nice, but they're definitely not, I feel like, enough sometimes. Sometimes I just feel like I need a little bit more, and also summer is coming, and you know, I just wanna, I wanna get to a point where I feel confident this year. Cause last year I definitely didn't feel like that. The year before, I don't think I really felt like that. Like I just wanna have one summer where I feel confident like going out. Does that make any sense? I hope somebody can uh, understand what I'm trying to, <laughs> I'm trying to explain. I feel like someone will get me. Hi, Bubba's. You are the cutest. Okay, I'm gonna check this, take a shower, and then I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna eat for dinner, pour myself some wine, go to feed Bentley soon, and I'm just gonna like relax, probably read for the rest of the night. This one's really nice, because I didn't get to do that earlier. And I have decided to make myself some pizza. So I really want some, but I don't feel like ordering out and waiting for someone to deliver pizza to me. So, what's up, Bubbas? I just took you out. We just went outside. And I fed you dinner. What's up? So, I put some bruschetta stuff that I got at Trader Joe's on some sourdough toast. So we have, or sourdough bread. This is what I put as my base. And then just some shredded moths a little bit of salt and garlic powder and I'm going to toss these in my air fryer. I don't know if they'll both fit. I might have to do one at a time. Patience, I guess. Yep, one at a time it is. All right, let's go. Good morning, guys. Couldn't leave me hanging on the new Nespresso machine, so I figured Let's end off this vlog trying out the new machine together so I can share with you guys my thoughts on it in case you're interested in this one because this is one of the newer models. Or maybe not newer models, I just think they like just recently came out with this matte black version of it, but this is like the third model that they've come out with. Let's make some coffee. I finally ordered myself more um, ice cube trays off of Amazon. The ones that I ordered are like way bigger trays, so I will only have to use like one ice cube a day. So I think I'll be able to like 
stock up on ice so I won't have to feel like I never have any or that I'm running out of ice every morning. I like a lot of ice in my coffee personally. I like my iced coffee iced cold. Ice cold, iced cold. What is the proper term? Would you like an ice cube? Gentle, gentle, the boy. He's the cutest. Okay. Back to the I need to go to Trader Joe's tomorrow and get some groceries. That's why I've been talking about that in the last three vlogs. I am almost out of like everything and then I need to do an order for my creamers very soon. I'm definitely almost out of these as well. I tried to do an order on Amazon Fresh yesterday, but they're all out of my favorite peanut butter cup creamer. So I'm gonna have to wait a little bit on that or see if I can find it at Target. We will see. Unless I just find like a totally different flavor. I just, I don't know, I like to spice it up and like something different than like traditional vanilla or sweet cream creamer. I like mixing my sweet cream with something. Luckily. I got this in my last Amazon Fresh order. I always like to get this as like a little backup for my oat milk. Okay, more oat milk. That should be good. Machine on. The thing that I love about the Nespresso machines is it literally takes seconds for it to heat up. It's amazing, honestly. And here we are. She looks so pretty. <laughs> Hi. Hi, cutie. All right. Taste test time. Cheers. Good morning. Oh, so good. So, so good. Well, I missed my virtual pods. Okay, well, cheers. Good morning. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. I'm going to go ahead and end this one and start another one for you guys. I'm hoping I can start to get a little more ahead on vlogs so I can have more filmed ahead of time for you guys so I'm not like filming, editing, and uploading all within like a few days. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. We're literally so close to 86k. I feel like we might even hit it by the time this video goes live which is wild. What are we at right now? It is Tuesday morning. We are at 85.7. We're almost at 85.8. So. We are so close. We might hit it by the time this video is live. So, love you guys. Make sure you subscribe. Goal is 100k by April. Leave a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. And I'll see you guys next time.